A lot of people believe, Mr. Trump, it actually took a lot of guts for you to go on Letterman last night. Well, I think it did. I mean, he was really going after me. And, you know, we've had great luck together. We've gotten great ratings and we've had some fun. But he was being a little bit nasty. And I have to tell you, last night, it was so great. We all had a good time. Everybody was happy. And I heard the show did very well. Well, you bring up a good point on a big two shot here. The numbers are just in, and Letterman actually beat Leno last night with you on board. I guess you're probably not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm never surprised. I'm a ratings machine. <laughs> and then no, I'm, I'm very happy about that. I mean, I like when I go on a show. I like for the show to do well. But in terms of the back and forth, and this may, maybe leads into another line of questioning, it's no secret you're not a big fan of Jay Leno. I mean, that's you, you've been on the record. No, I think Jay Leno's a wonderful guy. They're just the opposite. I've been on Jay's show many times, and... I think he's a wonderful guy. Let's talk about his interaction with, with President Obama two nights ago, and, and they had a little bit of fun at your expense. What was your take on that interaction? Well, I thought it was nice. I thought it was fun. I think, you know, the president gave a con man answer, which is, you know, very standard. And, uh, you know, that we played soccer or something in Kenya. And I think that's fine. I mean, he has to do it. He's got to do his thing. But I thought Jay was respectful. I thought the president was respectful. What do you say What's your interpretation of the president joking about the Kenya issue, about your demand for these college records? Well, I think he has to joke about it because he's got a problem. And I would love to see him give $5 million to a great charity. Maybe the charity could be Wounded Warriors. Maybe the charity, frankly, could be any one of a number of things. I was thinking even the family of and families of the four people that were just killed in Benghazi. I think it would be amazing to do that because part of the reason they were killed was incompetence under this administration. So you give the money to the families of those four people that were killed. There are many different things. I can't believe that come Wednesday at 5 o'clock that $5 million won't go to the Wounded Warriors or to some great group of people. And let's help our audience understand here. Why do you want to see President Obama's college strength why do you want to see President Obama's college transcripts? Transparency. There's a huge part of this country that just doesn't believe what's going on, and they don't believe him. And I'll tell you something. I do this from a positive standpoint, not a negative standpoint. I think it's so positive. If he came out, I would love to write the check to charity. There's so many charities that would love to get it. I'm doing this from a positive standpoint. There are so many people that want to see. They don't believe that, whether it's born here or other things, and he can solve the problem. And I actually think that politically, it would be a great thing for him, and a charity would benefit. And so just so we understand, in terms of whether he was born here and other things, I've, I've read the blogs. I understand what some of these people are suggesting. Are you suggesting that he wrote that he was maybe a foreign student on these well, applications? Look, I, I don't know what he wrote, but we could find out very easily. I know this. He spent millions of dollars in legal fees trying to hide these documents. You understand that? Millions of dollars. And even David Letterman last night, who I thought was fantastic. But Letterman, I said, well, do you think he was born? He said, probably. I said, probably is not a good word. The word probably is not an acceptable word. Definitely is a good word, but not probably. And by the way, probably he was, maybe he was. Who knows? Nobody knows. But when David said probably, I said, that's the problem. Nobody knows. So the point is, millions of dollars going to charity. All he has to do is a couple of records. Help me understand behind the scenes. There's a little bit of drama from what I understand in terms of will you go on Letterman, won't you? It what was. really happened behind the scenes? Well, David hit me really hard the night before. And I was actually surprised, especially since I was going to be on. And he was with Bill O'Reilly, who was a great guest. And he was really hitting me, not Bill. Bill was sort of defending me. I would have rather had a better defense, but he was sort of defending me. But David was really hitting me hard. And I said, what is this? I mean, I'm going on the next night. In fact, Bill O'Reilly said, but he's coming on your show tomorrow night. And I actually thought in terms of canceling, and I actually did. I said, I'm not going to do the show. Oh, you literally called them? Yes. And David called me, and he said, look, this, we're all big boys, and it's not appropriate, and if you could do it, it would be a nice thing. And I said to myself, you know, if I don't do it, it's a huge story. If I do it, I go into the lion's den, and I decided to go into the lion's den, and it worked out really well. I mean, you are a man who says, I stand by my word. You made this commitment before all of this exploded. A and big part of why I did it, I made a commitment, and they were advertising it all. In fact, on CBS, on the NFL game, 
all over the place. Trump is back on Thursday night, ba ba ba. And I said, you know, if I don't do that, that's pretty unfair. But he treated me very rough the night before, and I decided to do it. I would say it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. Was there a particular joke that really struck a nerve for you? No. It was just that I was treated from beginning to end very badly the night before. Last night, it was absolutely, there was a great chemistry. David and I have always had amazing chemistry when I do the show. So it worked out very well. And interestingly, his audience about the $5 million offer, they went wild. They loved it. And maybe I explained it better. I don't know. But they loved it. And that's a David audience. You know, that's not an audience that necessarily would ne agree with me. But they loved it. That was a standing ovation. And, you know, why wouldn't somebody take $5 million? Here's a couple of papers. $5 million goes to wounded warriors or somebody. Right there on the good. table for him. I want to wrap it up with this, give you a chance to, to clear up the Barbara Walters issue on the big two here. Barbara Walters went on her show and said, Donald, you are making a fool of yourself. Does that hurt this relationship? Well, she's wrong. And she was really very nice up to that point. Brilliant, great businessman, did all the right things, and then she said that. So, look, I had an argument with Barbara about Rosie, and I turned out to be right, and Barbara apologized to me. I don't want an apology from Barbara, because going up, see, the problem is the press only played that last little word. They didn't play the long little segment before she said that. But she talked about our friendship. She talked about lots of nice things. And that could be the way she feels. The truth is $5 million to a great charity for giving me a couple of papers? I don't know how Obama can get away with it, frankly. He should do it. And if he does it, it might be a great thing for him. But to clarify the relationship with you and Barbara, have you spoken to her? Has, has she reached out at all? No, but as you know, I have one of the hottest Twitter followings anywhere. And I did put a couple of comments, friendly comments, on Twitter. And I said, she will apologize to me someday. But until then? No, I still love Barbara. <laughs> That's on the record. You still I love do. Barbara. I love Barbara. I think she's great. Thanks for your time, Mr. Thank Trump. you. Good to see you. Thank you.